Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Amstein Sport. In today's uh, video, we are going to be giving you the preview, team news and highlight of Senegal versus Gambia. And let's see how they are going to manage this encounter that is going to be one of its kind in the African Cup of Nations 2023 as we see it. What will be the really position for more, uh, for Senegal to be able to emerge victorious against the Namibia squad. This will be really a truly encounter. Senegal will uh, begin mm -hmm. their defense of the African Cup of Nations title this week when they square off against Gambia at Sado Charles uh, Corner uh, Bunny, the Yamusokro this monday evening group c looks it like uh, could be one of the most uh, competitive in the competitions featuring five-time champions cameroon and the upcoming uh and coming guinea who is early at the corner also looking formidable who face off at this venue directly after the conclusion of this match so the match preview stands is that since Egypt claimed their third consecutive title back in 2010, no team has managed to defend the Afghan trophy. But Senegal came into this year's competitions as the favorite to do this. And that, according to several betting platforms, according to several bookmarkers. So guys, uh, it shouldn't be forgotten. Many teams have been formidable these days a team that we think it could be on the dock have turned out to be emerging at the summit so we shouldn't underestimate the effort of namibia in this game so in the history of competitions only three nations have managed to successfully retain the african title egypt that is we can see egypt have Taking the African Afghan, 1957, 1959, 2006, 2008, 2010, and we see Ghana here taking it 1963, 1965, and Cameroon 2000 and 2002. Progressively, time and again, that is. Only three nations have done it consecutively. So despite a slow start in the 2021 continental competition, which included scoring just one goal and playing out two goalless draws in the group stages, Senegal shed the tag of underachievers by winning the tournament at expense of Egypt. So since then, the Lions of Teringa have gone from strength to strength boasting a stars to the team that features like and the players of nicholas jackson statues serge oriel Kalido koulibaly and the two-time african player of the year sadio mani that's what the squad of senegal looks like despite significant chopping and the changing in recent months alucis side came into the tournament in excellent shape winning six of their last 10 matches in all competitions and losing only once in that time these two last met in the african nations cup back in 2015 which senegal won one go to zero and with that result they maintained their unbeaten record against gambia that dates back to 2008 so Gambia, we get their tournament started as the biggest outsiders and the lowest ranked team in Group C, currently in 29th place among 53 African footballing nations, according to FIFA's world rankings. So that is the position of the opponent as per the rankings the west african side will be making just their second appearance in the african cup of nations and we have fond memories of their debut tournament when they pulled off and against the old victory of our african pro powerhouse tunisia in road to the quarter finals however the scorpions from in the build up to this competition has been far from impressive as they face 
setbacks with defeat against Burundi and the Ivory Coast in their 2026 World Cup qualifying campaign at the end of last year. In addition, their trip to the Ivory Coast for this competition was far from routine as their flight was forced to U-turn shortly after departure due to the lack of oxygen in the aircraft. I earlier talked about that in the first videos of the AFCON, which some players have said felt like a near-death experience. It was really terrible and I wish the Gambia uh, Federation have done something to improve that type of dilemma situation. Nevertheless, Tom Senfit cited her presence and will release their chance to save us giant killers against their year and we can see expect them to approach this match with no fear and nothing to lose which could ultimately work in their favor. If we can look at the lineup of Senegal and Gambia here Senegal is having the first 11 with the starting 11 with Mendy, Koulibaly, uh, Nyakete, Jacobs, Geye, uh, Koyate, Sao, Diata, Sao, uh, Jackson, Mane. Why the Gambia here have the possibilities starting 11 here with Job, Sane, Kole, Janko, uh, Mendy, Adams, Mare, uh, Ngum, Federa, Baro, Minty. That is their first 11, as we can see. Are there injuries? I don't know. Let's check it out. Goalkeeper uh, Bolai Dia and the Seni Dia were late withdrawals from the Senegal squad, and the pair have been replaced by Lorian's uh, Bamba Dia and Alfred Gomez. After leaving the field just 32 minutes into the match against Bournemouth on New Year's Eve, Many felt that Totona Hospital Pape Matasa would be ruled out for this competition, but the midfielder has since recovered and should line up in defensive midfield. Mane will captain the team and lead the line, while former Chelsea teammate Edward Mendy and Koulibaly will be crucial futures in the back line for the Lions of Taranga. Thankfully for Gambia, their flight incident had no lasting impact on any of the players or staff, meaning that St. Fit will have a full squad at his disposal for their opening match of the competitions. So, teenager uh, Jacobo Minty has been cheap as one of watch players in these competitions. The forward joined Newcastle United last summer and was loaned out to Fionet, where he has been very impressive, having scored three goals and improving, providing two assists in 12 league appearances, while also notching his first ever Champions League gold this season. That is the most reason why we predicted a Senegal win with not much margin, but a more presentable margin with two goals to zero against the Gambia with that margin looking under 2.5 goals. The defending champions came into the tournament in excellent form and we are seeing it as they are awarded favorite to defend their crown. They have not conceded in eight or any single goal in any over 400 minutes of football and we fancy they will manage to shut out their opponents in this one as well as claim their first win of the competition so guys let's see what happens as we continue to bring you just the best our channel membership is open don't forget to join for exclusive betting 